What is up everybody? This is Michael File Sage checking in here today and I hope you guys are doing fantastic. So let's get to the video. So pasteurization versus sterilization part two. If you guys watched part one, I hope you guys did. If you didn't, then go watch it before because I'm not going to explain it too much. Uh, so basically in part one, um, I took two, I made two simulated poo cakes, right? So this is poo and core, okay? And they were uh, pasteurized, or I should say partially sterilized because pasteurization wasn't working, right? So I did it at 175 degrees Fahrenheit for around two hours, maybe a little more. But anyways, way higher than regular pasteurization temperature. Uh, if I was pasteurizing, then I would have completely f***ed up. This is a partial sterilization, so. But it's not a full sterilization, right? And the reason is because if you guys remember, I said that some people that I, I see do pasteurization for poo lovers, they actually go higher. For example, one person goes like 200 degrees F, maybe even like up to 210. And they seem to have success. So I'm uh, I'm very curious to see how they do. So this was the partial pasteurization. I already know the results with regular pasteurization, right? It always trichodermas out uh, after I apply the casing usually. So, so that's that. And now the second part is the sterilization. Now I've got uh, four more sterilized jars that I've been colonizing. And uh, those jars show no problems, but these guys didn't have a problem yesterday, but today, look at this, guys. We got some trichoderma. So, that's that. Um, so yeah, this guy was looking hopeful, but there you go. It tricked out. And so this is, you know, I've never had a trick come up this early in all of my attempts. And this, look at this, this looks suspicious, right? This looks like something is definitely going on. Look at all the metabolites. Look at how it's not fully colonized there uh, or it's stalled. Yeah, this is bad. And there's also what I what I reckon to be trick as well over here, early signs of trick. Maybe kind of hard to see, but if you see this, see that? Um, I think it was that. Yeah, basically I've seen enough trick now to basically know it as soon as I see it. It's hard to see on camera, but Basically, I suspect this is going to trick out soon. So I'm going to pressure cook it. So basically, I've never had trick show up this early in my pa regular pasteurization ones. So this leads me to believe that, well, just as I expected, sterilization is, is far more riskier than pasteurization. So, uh, I and I foresee the others to also completely get trick. I think these guys will probably also get trike, trike as well. And, you know, since since those videos, since my getting to the bottom of poo contamination video and the part one of the pasteurization video, I, you know, I, I had a comment on my video uh, that said that uh, basically like something about the wood being difficult to pasteurize. And, you know, the thing is, I've always suspected that, right? Because I remember years ago reading that somewhere that wood is hard, like even for sterilization, you got to do it longer because it's hard to get through the, the cells. And uh, so... But I was thinking that, but the reason that I, I still went, I still kept trying with this compost manure with wood is because the, the tech that I was following, uh, which was Baba Yaga's core and monotub tech primarily, he, he also sometimes uses a 50% compost manure and 50% core, just as I'm doing. And in that, he also has pieces of wood, so he takes it out. Now, obviously, it's impossible to take out every little piece of wood, right? Like, even if you take the big pieces, which is what I've been doing, there's probably all sorts of like wood residue and like little wood and stuff. So I think if it were to contam because of it, it would already contam, it, it would contam anyways, big piece or not. At least that's the way I see it. So, but, but I saw him doing it and I saw him having success with that. So I assumed that the wood can't be a problem. Probably, you know, uh, the, the pasteurization should take care of it. But uh, after this person commented that, that sort of validated what I was thinking, and another person also uh, corroborated what he was saying, basically. So, so this is just pushing me, this is just another reason to push me towards just using straight cow dung. You know, no compost manure or anything. Anyways, there's more dung in cow dung than when you compost, because compost is like 50 or 70% like peat moss and wood and all sorts of stuff, sometimes plastic, you know. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, next time, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna pick up a bag of pure dung, uh, cow dung, aged cow dung, not fresh. So, so yeah, and there's some exciting things happening. Uh, there's a lot of projects, there's a lot of videos I wanna make. There's gonna be all sorts of cool new stuff coming out and you guys are gonna absolutely love it. So keep posted on that. 
and also by the way on patreon if you guys remember i keep saying that the videos are going to be free so basically if you select the second tier or the third tier you're going to have all the videos one week early all the fruiting videos but uh now the the first week's videos are coming out for free now so it's public so if you want to watch harvest and chill episode one and all about aborts i'm pretty sure that's up right now for public too then go check out the patreon that's patreon.com slash mycophilia and you can watch those videos in 4k for free actually they're 1080p because they're salvaged videos from the old channel but the new videos will be 4k guys so just like just like this video so anyways guys yeah that's i think that's pretty much all kind of short and quick i forgot to add i forgot to add um there's actually the uh the traditional poo cakes right one of them ended up getting trike if you guys remember there was a uh, primordia forming on them and there still is primordia but i've already basically sort of given up on them because it shouldn't take this long for them to turn into fruits so something is not right uh probably in, in the environmental conditions um so basically uh i'm gonna call this just a finished experiment mostly which is fine because there's uh there's some more coming and there's some other stuff coming too so basically you know it's a work in progress and uh it made it this far so we got to the point of primordia which is further than we've ever been so far so uh hopefully we'll work out the kinks but yeah they they had a pretty good run but usually you should start seeing pens form by maybe you know five days anyways that's how it goes so yeah this guy is still going so we got two more coming and i'll probably make a little more as well so anyways guys that's all michael file sage checking out